input-output tables show a pattern. So you can think of it as something going in is the input, and then something happens to that number, and then something comes out is the output. And whenever we find the pattern in a table, we can write a rule to describe the pattern. And the important thing to remember about the rules is they must work for each pair of numbers in the table. So we have to make sure we test the rule for every pair. So here we have an example of an input-output table. So our input is shown with the letter N, and the output is shown with the letter S. So when we talk about the pairs of numbers, we're looking at the relationship between what goes in and what comes out. So we want to figure out what is the rule, what are we doing to the 2 to get to the 4. And the rule needs to be the same for the next pair of numbers and the next one. So if I look at this, I can see that my numbers are getting bigger, going from 2 to 4, 3 to 6, 4 to 8. So when I have numbers getting bigger, there's two ways I can do that. I can add or I can multiply. So I know 2 plus 2 is 4. So that could work. So then I'm going to try it on the next one. If I do 3 plus 2, that equals 5. So it can't be plus 2. So I can also multiply. So 2 times 2 is 4. 3 times 2 is 6. So that works. And 4 times 2 is 8. So that would work for each one. So the way that I'm going to write that rule is I'm going to say that n or the output equals n times 2. So what that means is I take the number here and the n and I do times 2, it will equal the output. Sometimes you're going to have a scenario where they give you the rule and you have to fill in the rest of the table. I think these are a little bit easier. This one they tell you that the output is w times 3. So that means I need to take the number in the w side and times 3. And that will equal the output. So 4 times 3 is 12. 7 times 3 is 21. And 9 times 3 is 27. So I filled in that table using the rule. When you're figuring out the rule, you can ask yourself the question, are the numbers getting bigger? If the answer to that question is yes, then you are either adding or multiplying. So you can try those two things to help you find the rule. If the answer is no, if your numbers are getting smaller, then you're either subtracting or dividing. So you can try those two things to see if you can find the rule. The most important thing is just to remember to check the rule for each pair of numbers in the table.